Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.91 from Sadiku book and we are given this circuit here and the question is find IB, VCE, and V0 and we are given additional data the beta of the transistor is 200 and the VBE of transistor is 0 0.74 okay now before we do anything else let's see if the unit match so kilo ohm kilo ohm kilo ohm volt volt and this one is ohm so before i made any mistakes about the units let me convert this into kilo ohm so 400 ohm is 0 0.4 kilo ohm okay now let's do analysis on the transistor so here is base here is collector and here is emitter and let's see the current so the current that goes to base is IB now because this is NPN transistor we can safely assume that I is going here and IC is going there so we can proceed with mass analysis and we carefully choose loops that that make us easy to find our goals here ib vce and v0 okay now we will have this as loop one and i will have this loop here as loop b because this loop actually have the same value as IB here and I want this loop to be counterclockwise different from the other loops and I name this loop C here because this loop is actually have the same has the same value as IC so we have done picking the loops and let's work at loop 1 so let's do KVL at loop 1 okay let's start with the battery here uh, the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and we have the value is 3 volt plus 6 kilo ohm multiplied by I1 and then I have 2 kilo ohm multiplied by I1 minus IB. And all of this will equal to 0. And let's do simplifying. Minus 3, we can move this to the right hand side. So 3. And then 6 plus 2 is 8. 8I1 minus 2 times IB and let's save this as equation number one okay now we do KVL at loop B okay let's do KVL at loop B we start from this 2 kilo ohm resistor so 2 multiplied by IB minus I1 and we pass through this transistor between base and emitter and let's say that the voltage between that node is V base emitter and then we have this 0 0.4 kilo ohm resistor so multiplied by IB plus this current here, this loop current, not IE because IE is actually the sum of IB and IC. So plus IC and all of this will equal to zero. And now I can multiply this. So 2IB minus 2I1 plus 
VBE, VBE is 0 0.7, it is given, plus 0 0.4 multiplied by IB plus IC. Okay, IC is actually, we can get IC from IB. So IC is actually beta times IB. So beta is 200 multiplied by IB, so IC is 200 IB. Okay, let's plug that in, 200 IB, and that will equal to zero. Okay, now we have this, two ID minus two I1. Okay, I can move this 0 0.7 to the right hand side minus 0 0.7 and I will have plus 0 0.4 multiplied by this number 201 times IB. Okay, now we will have 2IB minus 2I1 plus, okay, we multiply this, we will have 80.4 IB that will equal to minus 0 0.7 or minus 2 I1 plus 82.4 IB is equal to minus 0 0.7. Okay, let's have this as equation number 2. And now, if we see here, we have two equations with two variables that we can solve. So, let me erase the board and solve this two equation. Okay, now we have this two equation and I multiplied equation number one by one and equation number two by four. So, I will cancel the I1 here. So, I will have this 8I1 minus 2IB is equal to 3 and here I will have minus 8i1 plus okay this is I made a mistake when copying this so okay this should be 82.4 so it's multiplied by 4 let me get my calculator first Okay, here it is 82.4 multiplied by 4 is okay that number 329.6 ib and that will equal to minus 2.8 and i can add this number these two equations I mean so I will have 327.6 IB is equal to 0 0.2 and IB will be 0 0.2 divided by 327 Six, and that will be six point one o five times ten to the minus four. This is milliampere. Or we can rewrite that as IB is. This number times 10 to the minus 4 power times 10 to the 3 microampere and that will be 0 0.6105 microampere and this is for IB so we already find 
ID and we still have two variables to find out. So let's do that. Okay, let's save this ID and let's continue what we can find. Okay, for the next part, I will find out V0 first. Why? Because it is much easier than finding VCE. Because we will have, if we apply KCL at the transistor, so we apply KCL at transistor. So this transistor is also a node. And here the current that goes in, IB and IC, is equal to IE. IE and we know that IB plus IC, IC is 200 IB, that will equal to IE. So IE is 201 times IB and that's, we can, we can use that fact to calculate V0, so V0 is actually IE times the resistance 0 0.4 kilo ohm. And so we will have IE is 201 IB times 0 0.4 and that will be 8.80 point four times IB and we can plug this number here so eighty point four multiplied by six times one oh five times ten to the minus four power and okay let's calculate that eighty times 6.105 this is 488.4 times to the 10 to the minus 4 power and this is milliampere and here we can have I mean this is volt and this is volt so I will have 4.884 times 10 to the second power times 10 to the minus 4 power volt. And we will have that equivalent to 4.008 times 10.0 minus 2 volt or if we rewrite this in millivolt so i will have 48.84 millivolt so here is the value of v0 and for the last one i need to find out the value of vce so let's rewrite this v0 to the left and it is the board okay for the last one we need to find out vce and we will use kvl at loop c finally kvl at loop c okay we start from this voltage source or battery and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 9 plus 5 kilo ohm multiplied by IC and then plus now we have to pass through the transistor between collector and emitter so VCE and then plus this one it's actually IE so no it's not so but we already know the value of V0. 
So plus V0. Okay. Yeah, plus V0. And that will equal to 0. Okay, now we can move all the unknown to the right-hand side except VCE. Because we need to find out VCE. VCE is actually 9 minus 5IC minus V0. Okay, and I will have VCE is actually 9 minus 5. And remember, IC is 200 IB. So this times 200 times IB. IB is that value. 6 point this value and minus this is not fold but nearly fold so here I will have minus minus okay let's just write that as minus 48 point 84 times 10 to the minus 3 okay now we will have VCE is actually 9 minus this is 1000 1000 and I will have 1605 times 10 to the minus 4 for this one minus 48 times 8.84 times 10 to the minus 3 or just like make just make this Oh, I mean, okay, let's make this. Okay, so I will have VCE is nine point this one. So six point I'm not six five point six one not five point this is five thousand five thousand one six point six time ten to the minus fourth power and that will make this this is to the minus three so VCE is actually 9 minus 0 point this number which is 9 point okay let me plug that into my calculator and I will have this 8.44 for k so I will have VCE here is actually 8.44. And this is our final answer. Hopefully I did not make any mistake in this very long calculation. And thank you for watching.